I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game Now we say, I need a break Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want. I'll keep dreaming on. Taste on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise if you hate on that I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me slack, no it's not how you fall, it's how you get right back up That's how you get tough, calluses on my hands so rough, yeah, I call your bluff I'm not the one, mess with me, come out with none, cause I'm so done, you had your fun And now you're gonna face down the barrel of the gun, cause I got a full clip, put your name on it But I'ma let you slide, cause you ain't worth it Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on Time to stay strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on Alright guys, welcome back to day two in Las Venturas. Tonight it's the Monster Jam, Nickel and Dizzy Car Tourers, everyone's favorite, the 36 Monster Truck Freestyle. Daniel, let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday, Jonathan Locke ran one and Max C defeated his wife, Mavis Dracula. But the question is, can he go for two? Because even though he's going to go way dead last. What do you think about that, Daniel? You know what, man? I'm pretty excited. This is going to be very um, interesting. It's going to be tough, but Angel, all these guys are going to throw it all on the line and I cannot wait. Yup, we're about to start soon in just a few more moments. Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go Move on till I let go 
I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go Monster Jam fans, get ready and get loud as we have we do the introductions with my brother Angel. All right, Monster Jam fans, I'm getting ready to start the countdown to get everyone inside here at Las Monteras. Here we go in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome. Lost Matura fans to Monster Jam, Nikolai Dizzy, and Car 2 Network. Welcome to Monster Jam, Nikolai Dizzy, and Car 2 Network. We know you fans wanted to see all these cartoon characters driving behind the wheel of these monster truck machines. They're going to do a lot of fun tricks and everything, and we're here to have fun. But safety is our number one priority, and due to the fact of what's going on outside the world, we have to protect ourselves. The first rule is always to make sure you check your temperature right on time. Make sure you have a perfect degrees inside your body so you can come in. Also, be sure to wear a mask um, to protect yourself from the spread. And please make sure to wear a mask all the time throughout the entire show. While you're eating and drinking, you may take it off, but please put it back right away once you're finished. And also, please make sure you keep your social distancing and please keep yourself six feet apart away from someone. If a person who's related to your party, doesn't matter whether it's a family or friend who's part of your party, you may stay with them as close as possible. But if a person's not related to your party, please make sure you keep your social distancing to keep six feet away apart from the person. Also, please, whenever you're using the restroom, please make sure you wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If you have a hand sanitizer um, with you, you may also use it, but please make sure you also wash it with soap and water. Also, whenever you're feeling about a cough or anything, please make sure you cover your mouth with your arm around it to stop the spread. If you're feeling sick or anything, please do not come to the show because we have to protect our fans and safety is our number one priority. Help us to stop the spread of COVID-19 and also to be sure to wear a mask, keep your social distancing, cover your mouth, and make sure if you're not sick. And if you're feeling sick, please do not come to the show. We love our fans and we respect everybody, one another, but safety is our number one priority, what's going on right now. So please, have a fun time, and please, thank you for everything, and please follow the safety tips, and thank you, and enjoy the show. All right, Monster Jam fans, we're about to get ready to start the shows, and 36 Nickelodeon Disney Cartoon and Monster Trucks are about to hit the road right here to perform for the freestyle action. Daniel, so yesterday, Jonathan Lockran survived for the racing competition, but the question is, can he do it again for freestyle? Do you think he has that chance? You know what, Angel? I really don't know. It's going to be very tough, this freestyle. All these guys are going to throw it all on the line. The track looks amazing. I don't know what it's going to take to win it all over the fans, but we're going to have to wait and see, Angel. Yeah, we're going to see what's going to happen. All right, fans, it's getting ready because we're about to start the show in just a few more moments. Las Venturas, their city, um, there's men and women who are sacrificed for all of us. Some of them are with us today, some are part of our memories, but they're mostly part of our hearts. As we thank all the military, all the men and women who have sacrificed for our country, thank you for all your sacrifications and everything like that. And we love every single one of you guys. Don't forget, God bless everybody, God bless all of you guys, and God bless the United States of America. And now we kindly ask every single one of you guys to please get up and stand up and rise for our singing of tonight's The National Anthem.
All right, Monster Jam, Nickel, and Disney Cartier fans, it's time for day two. This time is the freestyle competition where all each 36 Monster Jam Monster Trucks are going to battle out for the freestyle champion. Yesterday, Jonathan won racing, has defeated his wife, even though Johnny's going to be the last person to go. Mavis is going to be the second last. Daniel, what do you think about that, Daniel? You know, man, I'm excited. Freestyle's going to be crazy. These guys are going to throw it down like, like we haven't seen before, and I just can't wait, Angel. I'm very excited for this. All right, guys, and he's ready, excited. I'm excited. All right, let's spin to us. It is time for the freestyle competition. Introducing next our first freestyle competition, all the way from Despicable Me, Marco in Doomsday. Monster Jan, Nickel, and Disney Cartier fans, let's give it up one more time for Marco and Doomsday. As you guys, she went on top of the track doing a proposal for all you fans out there here in Los Santos. What a great start for Doomsday. And you guys couldn't believe that this is our first of the 36 Monster Jam Monster competitor. All right, now locking your scores right now, fanjudgeszone.com. Don't forget, it's LV, stands for Los Venturas. And locking your scores right now at fanjudgeszone.com. You and my brother will make the score. Anyways, Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, that was actually a good run, Angel. A good way to start off freestyle. She did a great job, Angel. I'm proud of what she did right here. Yeah, same here with me. I'm very, very proud for what Marco has accomplished and her, um, you know, her decisions right now. Meanwhile, Daniel, I know, like always, you're going to make the scores and everything, but not bad for that run, you know, like, you know, this is a great one. And Gru's watching, her sisters are watching. What a great performance of, out there for Marco, you know? You know, Angel, she did a great job, you know what? Um, hopefully the fans give her a good score, but we just have to wait and see, Angel. Anyways, yup. All right, Daniel, now the question is this. What's the score, Daniel? The score for Margo, Margo in Doomsday is going to be an 8.5. A good way, to, a good score to start off freestyle, Angel. What do you think about that? Not bad for the score, and I bet the fans are enjoying it right now. So right now, she'll take the lead right now for an 8.5. All right, Monster Jam fans, coming up next, all the way from the Star versus the Forces of Evil, Star Butterfly in Jurassic Attack.
Well, it looks like she has flipped the truck over and looks like the score will be not really the way what she wanted to do, but let's keep it going for Star Butterfly Jurassic Attack. Now, don't forget to lock in your scores right now, fanjudgeszone.com. The score to beat right now is an 8.5 for Margo and Doomsday. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, she did her best. Unfortunately, it was cut short. She did a good job, had some good momentum, and then she just flipped it all of a sudden, had some good air. Good job, Angel. Good try that she did. Yeah, at least she good, good, did a good try. Not bad for driving this behind the wheel, the Triceratops, you know, a magical fairy from the other dimensions. Well, good thing she didn't use her wand to get it back up, but, you know, yeah, it's all good, but it is what it is. But still, she tried her best, you know, Daniel? Yeah, I know what you mean, Angel. Good run, solid run, did the best she can, and that was the end of the run for her. Anyways, the score to beat is an 8.5 for Doomsday. Daniel, what's the score? The score for Jurassic Attack is going to be a 5.2. It will not be enough to take the lead. But give it up for her one more time. Star Butterfly in Jurassic Attack. Up next, it is going to be Dudley Puppy in Backwards Bob. Monster Jet Nickel and Disney Cartier fans, it looks like he roared for everybody out there as he filled up the clock alongside with Doomsday. Let's give it up one more time for those Ventura fans, all the way from Nickelodeon's Tough Puppy, Dudley Puppy, and Backwards Bob. Now, don't forget to lock in your scores right now at fanjudgeszone.com. Don't forget the keyword is LV here at Las Venturas, which is a parody of Las Vegas. We're in the world of Las Venturas here in San Andreas. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, he actually had a pretty good run. Did the best he can, did everything he could, and then um, he did good, Angel. Yeah, he really did good, not bad, but I don't know if it compares Doomsday Run, but still, we got to see what's up, Daniel, because this is going to be a tough matchup, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, he hit the wall a lot, and I don't know why they, the officials didn't shut him off as much, but he did a good run, Angel. All right, did he then? And now, don't forget, fans, the score to beat is at 8.5 from Doomsday. All right, Daniel, what's the score? What the defense chose? And the score to beat is an 8.5. And the score for Dudley Puppy is a 7.8. Not enough to take the lead, but it's still a good score to keep him up there. Up next, it is going to be Jessica in Monster Mutt Poodle.
right, it looks like under 89 seconds, but the freestyle didn't last that run. Let's keep it going for Jessica and Master Mud Poodle. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a score. Daniel, do you think there's going to be a score for her in this this moment? You know what? Um, if she passed 30 seconds, she is eligible for a score. I'm not sure if she did or not. I, I'm not I'm not sure if I remember it or not. But we'll have to wait and see what the officials have to say, Angel. And it looks like they're making a the decision. It's under 89 seconds. All right, Dan is giving me the updates right now. But not bad as you guys look at the highlights right now for Monster Mud Poodle. Fortunately, she flipped it over. All right, Daniel, so is she allowed to score under 89 seconds? She is allowed to score. That is barely 31 seconds, so she barely beat the time. So she is able to get a score. So fans, head on to fanjudges.com and give her a score. All righty, then. It looks like um, I guess they it's already activated like a second ago, which the officials made it. All right, Daniel, so what's the score? And the score to beat is an 8.5. The score for Jessica is going to be a 3.4. Not enough to take the lead, but give it for one more time. All right, guys, one more time for Jessica Monster Mud Poodle. All right, Monster Jam fans, coming next, one of the four Grave Diggers. Please welcome Mordecai in Grave Digger, but it's going to be the Dole Edition. Let's see what he's going to do. Alright, looks like the officials will stop him right now under 65 seconds. Let's keep it going for Mordecai and Grave Digger, which is a gold edition. And now don't forget to lock in your scores right now, fanjudgeszone.com. The keyword is LV to lock in your scores right now to fanjudgeszone.com. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, that was a pretty good run. Um, he did the best he can. Unfortunately, he did that front flip and the officials decided to shut him off. I'm not sure why. Probably he has damage on the truck that they couldn't let him continue. But he did a good job, Angel, other than that. Yeah, he really did a good job, man. If only he could have continued, it would have been a perfect move by Mordecai and Gravedigger. Even though Rigby's going to be performing later on, later on, we don't know what's his time, but we know it's going to be in a bit. But still, he tried his best, but still not the way what he wanted to do. Very disappointed run for Mordecai, all the way from Cartoon Network's regular show. All right, everybody. Now, don't forget, 8.5 is the score to beat for Doomsday. Margo's still taking the lead in the hot seat. All right, Daniel, what's the score? And the score for um, Mordecai and Gravedigger is going to be... A 6.1, which was not enough to take the lead, but give it up for him one more time. All right, Monster Jan, Nickel, and Disney Carter fans, coming next, all the way from the video game Cuphead, is Mugman Alien Invasion. <laughs> Monster Jan Nickel and Disney Cartoon fans, keep it going for my boy Mugman. Unfortunately, not the way what he want to do in Alien, in Alien Invasion. Now, don't forget to lock in your scores right now, fanjudgeszone.com. The keyword's LV. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know what, Angel? That was a good run. Um, unfortunately, it ended up very shortly. I don't think he passed the 30-second mark, Angel. I don't think he's eligible for a score for this run. 
Oh man, it looks like, yup, and it looks like you're right. I'm sorry fans, my mistake, so don't head on to fanjudgeszone.com. It's already canceled, so please do not head on there. We, we, my apologies fans, my apologies, I know you're all upset, I understand that, we're very sorry. But anyways, taking the lead right now is 8.5, but still, he tried his best. What do you think about that, Daniel? You know what, Angel, he did okay, he did the best he can, he couldn't balance that moonwalk he was attempting, and the truck just gave up on him, and that's how he flipped over. All right, Monster Jan Nickel and Disney Cartier fans, Cubby and next is my boy all the way from Rio. It's Blue and Ice Cream Man. Well, it looks like he's stuck on the wall. Unfortunately, it looks like there will be no score for him. That is it, everybody. There'll be no score for him. At least he tried his best, but not the way what he wanted to because he got stuck. Daniel, how did he get stuck? Or what do you think about that run, Daniel? You know, man, it was a decent run. Unfortunately, he did get stuck. And that just ended the run for him right there, Angel. He did the best he can. He had a nice air right there to start it off. And then he just got stuck just like that. Yeah, just like a snap of a finger. I don't know. Just he, ever since he hit that next ramp, it just he just went on that wheelie thing, and then it cost him over there and really flipped it over. Not the way he wanted to do, but look at that, Daniel. All the way, he did the wheelie right there, and then that's it. And look at that. He hit the wall, and that's it. He's done, Daniel. How did he get stuck? What do you think? You know, I don't know, Angel. The truck just got stuck like that. Maybe, maybe it's going to be left right there the rest of the night, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Introducing next, Poof in Avenger. There will be no score for Avenger. Unfortunately, that is it. That is not the way what he wanted to do. But still, he tried his best, Los Venturas. It kind of reminded me back in World Finals 19, but except Jim Kohler, you know, Daniel, like you were, we were there too when Jim Kohler, when he hit that ramp, flipped it over. But this time, Poof went this, um, did this huge air and he fell down. What do you think, Daniel? You know what, Angel? He did the best he can. He got a great, he got some good air right there. But unfortunately, that was just the end of the run right there for him. He slid and that was it. And he does not get a score. Still in the lead will be... Doomsday. Doomsday. And uh, with an 8.5. But we'll have to see if anyone else can take the lead over here. Up next, we already saw Mugman. Now it's his brother Cuphead in Earthshaker. Well, it looks like they shut him down. It looks like he's outside of Sandboy Stadium right now onto our right side. Daniel, what do you think about that run for Cuphead? You know, man, he did a okay job. I don't know why they shut him down, though. It didn't seem like he did anything that prevented him from getting shut down. Um, he, he had a nice save, but I don't know why they shut him down for that. He did not go into the Thunder, to the Thunder Alley area beforehand, but they shut him out before he did. So I'm not, pretty sure, I'm not sure why he was shut down, but... Oh, well, he did not get a score, and that was it for him, Angel. Yeah, I think I got the updates from the officials, Daniel. Um, it's because the transmission is busted. That's why. So it's not good for the truck without transmission. There's no way it's not good. So anyway, so still 8.5 is the score to be right now for Doomsday, which Margo still takes the lead in the hot seat. Up next, it is going to be Cosmo in Max D.
Well, under 84 seconds, he's under eligible to do the score. Let's keep it going for one of the three Max Ts, Cosmo and Max T. Lock your scores right now, fanjudgeszone.com. Don't forget the keyword is going to be LV. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, he did a good job. Um, had some nice saves going on. Did some cool stuff, but he got shut down. I think it was because he got close to the wall, so they shut him off, and that was the end of the run for him, Angel. He is eligible for a score since he passed 90, since he went past 30 seconds, so he did a good job, Angel. Yeah, pretty not bad, but still, we got to go see what's going to happen because it's a depending. Right now, uh, Margo still takes the lead in Doomsday with the score of 8.5. All right, Daniel, so what's the score right now? The score, to, the score for Cosmo and Max D is going to be a 5.6. Not enough to take the lead. But it is what it is, Angel. Up next, it is going to be Seuss in Pirate's Curse. Well, unfortunately, he will not be getting no score. That is under 30 seconds. So by rule, it has to be over 30 seconds to get the score. So there will be no score for Pirate's Curse, unfortunately. Um, I think because of Dry Chef from the turn, when he may hit that, when he flipped it over, Daniel, I think that causes the truck to... That's why you saw the truck spinning around. It was not supposed to do that because, for some reason, he broke the drive, tra the drive shaft. What do you think about that? You know what, Angel? Um, it sucks. It happens sometimes. And that's the way it goes, Angel. Sadly, he um, uh, the truck lost his balance and he just ro lost, rolled over like that, Angel. Yeah, well, there will be no score for Seuss and Pirate's Curse, which means Margo and Doomsday still takes the lead with a score of an 8.5. Up next, it is going to be Prowl in Time Flies. Well, unfortunately, it looks like he will be got not getting no score at all. Let's keep it going for Prowl and Time Flies. So do not head on to FanJudgeZone.com again. He did not fill up 90 seconds on the clock, which means there will be no score. Daniel, what do you think about Prowl's run? You know, man, he did the best he can. Unfortunately, that was it for him. Um, he had, took some big chassis damage out there. That's probably why he got shut down. Took some big damage to his chassis, and then he just he's just not able to continue anymore, Angel. Yeah, not the way what he wanted to do, but still, it's great to have Prowl, especially so weird, an Autobot in a 10,000-pound machine. But anyway, so 8.5 is still the score to be right now for Doomsday, so right now, Doomsday still takes the lead. All right, Monster Jam fans, coming up next is Amy Rose and Grave Digger, but this is the inverse version of the Grave Digger, and this is also to the second of the four diggers. Monster Jam fans, another one you do not head on to fanjudgeszone.com. This is the third truck, like third truck in a row, or was it a fourth truck in a row, Daniel? I don't know, Angel, but it's a lot of trucks already that these guys, the truck is eating them up, Angel. These guys can't handle themselves. They're going too big, or they're going, or they're just trying too big, and then that's what happens. The truck just eats them up. 
Yeah, it's really eating them up really badly. Poor Amy, it looks like not the way what she wanted to do, but still, at least she tried. Well, even though her run didn't last that long compared to Mordecai's, but still, it is what it is. All right, so there'll be no score. Uh, fortunately, it looks like no score. So we'll just move on to the freestyle then. Like always, Doomsday takes the lead, 8.5. All right, introducing next, all the way from the Amazing World of Gumball, Anais Waterson, El Toro Loco. like she has a nose nose on the bottom it looks like the nose is hanging on the truck now we have been told by the officials it looks like they will end this freestyle run but it looks like she did uh filled 90 seconds did she daniel it looks like she did angel she filled up for 30 seconds and she's able to get a score angel all right then well score to be right now is 8.5 like i said locking your scores right now fanjudgeszone.com lv so daniel what's the score i mean daniel what do you think about that run you know man she did the best she can she did a good job. Luckily, she's able to get a score. She had some weird saves. These drivers are driving are driving way too hard for this and just hitting the ramps like nothing. And unfortunately, that was it for her, Angel. Uh, yeah. Anyway, score to beat 8.5 for Doomsday. Daniel, what's the score? The score for her is going to be a 5.6. Not enough to take the lead, but give it up for her one more time. All right, Monster Jam fans, coming in next, all the way from the Star versus the Forces of Evil, is Star's boyfriend, Marco Diaz, Higher Education. Let's see, can he do a little bit better instead of his girl star, even though she had a sad freestyle run. Here we go. Monster Jan Nickel and Disney Cartier fans, let's give it up one more time for Marco Diaz and Higher Education. Lock your scores for right now, fanjudgeszone.com. Don't forget the keyword is LV, and he's allowed to get ready for a score. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, he, he was a good run. You know what? Did the best he can. He had some nice air, good job, and he just flipped it over. Once again, the track eats up another driver, Angel. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's a sad story, but it is what it is, but we don't know how long it's going to be like that, but still. I mean, it is what it is, but yeah, the track is still eating up a lot of trucks. Why, how about that, Daniel? That is so weird, huh? You know what, man? Um, it is. It just happens. Um, it happens to the best drivers sometimes. But as you guys head on to fanjudges.com and just lock in your scores, we'll see if he's able to beat an 8.5 from Margo in Doomsday. Alrighty, then. It looks like we already have the score ready. He's the first guy we had in a while because the other guys keep running, finishing early. Alright, Daniel, what's the score? The score for him is going to be a 6.2, not enough to take the lead, but give it up for him one more time. All right, Monster Champ fans, coming in next, Kitty Catswell in Dragon.
All right, Monster Jam fans, it looks like gladly she did not flip it over under the water. It looks like her freestyle will come to an end. Let's give it up one more time for Kitty Cat's Will Dragon. Daniel, what's the, what do you think will happen? I don't know, man. She had a bad bounce, and then she just landed right there, right into the fountain. That was it. It looked like she was about to flip it over right onto the fountain. She saved it, but the official shut her off just for safety because they were scared that she might have been underwater and that she could have drowned. But unfortunately, that ended her run too as well. So it is what it is, Angel. Now she does not get a score. So that was it for her. Yep. All right. Don't forget, 8.5, Doomsday's taking the lead. Up next, it is going to be Bugs Bunny in Captain's Curse. Monster Jam, Nickel, and Disney Carter fans. It looks like this is the end of his run. Let's keep it going for the veteran, Bugs Bunny, and Captain's Curse. Lock your scores right now at FanJudgeZone.com. Don't forget the keyword is LV to lock your scores right now at FanJudgeZone.com. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, that was a good run. Um, he did a good job. Unfortunately, again, another truck that flipped over early, but he is eligible for a score, which is good, but he still ended up, ended up early, and that was it for him, Angel. He did a good job. Unfortunately, it went too big, crashed right there by the container, backflips right there, and that was it for him. All righty then. So, Daniel, what's the score right now since 8.5 of Doomsday takes the lead? All right, Daniel, so what's the score? The score for him is going to be a 6.8. Still not enough to take the lead as Doomsday and Margo is still in the lead. All right, Monster Jam fans, coming in next is Clarence Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Well, it looks like the knuckle had busted, and it looks like he's eligible to make the score. All right, fans, give it up one more time for our Great Clips Mohawk Warrior is Clarence. Now lock your scores right now at FanJudgeZone.com. LV is the score to lock your scores. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, he did a good job the best he can. Unfortunately, again, another one that got eaten up by the track, broke, went too hard, hit the wall, hit the container, backups all the way in the back, and that was the end of the run for him, Angel. Sadly, it is what it is. Yeah, it's not the way what he wanted to do, but still it is what it is because the knuckle from the rim have broken after he banged that uh, backflip wall. Anyways, what's the score right now, Daniel, for Mohawk Warrior? The score for Mohawk Warrior is going to be a 5.4. Not enough to take the lead as Margo is still in the lead. All right, Monster Jan Nickel and Disney Carter fans, coming up next is Humphrey in Earthshaker. All right.
Alright Monster Jam, Nickel and Disney Cartoon fans, do not head on to FanJudgeZone.com. Unfortunately, this is the end of the run. He will not be getting a score. That was a sad run for Humphrey and Earthshaker. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, he did the best he can. Unfortunately, he did a Leduc leap and then lost his balance and then the officials have to shut him off right there as he hit the wall. So, Angel, with that being said, he did not pass 30 seconds, so he will not be eligible for a score. Right now, 8.5 is a score to beat for Doomsday. Meanwhile, Margo's still in the hot seat, but give it up one more time for Humphrey and Earthshaker. Next up, it is going to be Summer in Whiplash. Unfortunately, it looks like this is the end of the run, but there still will not be another score. Let's keep it going for Summer Smith and Whiplash. Now get on to FanJudgesZone.com. Don't forget the key. I mean, sorry, do not get on to FanJudgesZone.com. My bad. Don't get on to it. There will be no score for Summer. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, she did the best she can. Unfortunately, Angel, that was the end of the run right there for her. She flipped over early, and once again, someone else is not eligible for a score. Sadly, Angel, all these trucks are ending quickly, Angel. Yeah, it's because his truck's eating up, chewing up really badly. Even though Morty, her little brother, is going to come out later on. But it's a sad story, huh, Daniel? Yeah, it is. Sadly, it is what it is, Angel. But we still have more freestyles to come. Up next, it is going to be Mabel Pines in Sparkle Smash. Alright Monster Jam, Nickel and Disney Cartoon fans, give it up one more time for Mabel Pines and Sparkle Smash. Get on your scores right now, this time at FanJudgeZone.com. Don't forget the keyword is LV, stands for Las Venturas, to lock your scores right now. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know what Angel, that was a fantastic run she had right there. Great job by her, she did a great job Angel. Very good run, good momentum, had some nice saves. And as you can see earlier in the run, the body was floating in the air for a little bit Angel, that was pretty funny. But Overall, Angel, a great run. 
Oh yeah, maybe the, the stadium is haunted because it's holding up the body. <laughs> anyway, so, so it was a great run. It looks like Margo, I mean, yeah, Margo herself is chewing her nails right now because it's going to be a really tough one. All right, Daniel, get on the score. What's the score right now? And the score for her is going to be a 9.5 as she takes the lead. Give it up for her one more time, Angel. Yep, give it up one more time. And this is a sad story for Doomsday. Margo tried her best, but now it looks like she lost by 10 points from Sparkle Smash. Up next, it is going to be Lincoln Loud in Gas Monkey Garage. Monster Jan Nickel and Disney Cartier fans, give it up one more time for Lincoln Loud and Gas Monkey Garage. Unfortunately, it was under 90 seconds on the clock. He did not fill up for 30 seconds. That's a sad story. So he will not be taking the lead. But at least he tried his best, though. He wanted to try to go for a freestyle win. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, Angel, what a good run he had right there. Um, did his best. Unfortunately, he flipped over again as someone else with another quick run. Sadly, Angel, this track is eating up most of the drivers, but it's being very intense, Angel. Yeah, it's really intense right now. And it looks like Mabel Pines will be still taking lead with 9.5. Not bad for Gas Monkey Garage. You know that, Daniel. Because, you know, Lincoln tried his best. His sisters are watching. His mother and father are watching. But, fortunately, really disappointed for the fam, for the Loud family, you know? Yeah, Angel. Sadly, it is what it is. But hats off to him. Congratulations to him for being here. And give it up for our fans one more time. Coming up next, it is Max D, driven by Knuckles the Echidna, who's driving the gold version. Monster Jen, Nickel, and Disney Cartier fans, give it up one more time for Knuckles, Ekina, and Max D. Get on your scores right now at FanJudgesZone.com. Don't forget the keyword is LV for Los Venturas. This time he filled up 90 seconds on the clock. Well, at least he barely made it, but not the way what he wanted to do. He wanted to continue. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know what, Angel? He did a great job. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, he actually is able to get a score, but it was not... Um, he's not be able, he will not be able to get a big score because he did not last at all two minutes. He had a nice crash to it to end it off right there, Angel, but what a great job. Yeah, what a great job. You know, we got to give props for this guy. Even though Johnny's the next maxi coming up, but he's going to be way dead last. Same as Mavis and Grady. But anyways, score to be right now is 9.5 from Sparkle Smash. All right, Daniel, what's the score? The score for Max D and Knuckles is going to be a 3.4, which will not be enough to take the lead. So give it up for him one more time. Up next, it is going to be Morty Smith and Bakugan Dragonoid.
All right, Monster Jam fans, let's keep it going for Morty Smith and Bakugan Dragonoid. Even though he landed on all four wheels, he's still allowed to make the score right now. So head out to fanjudgeszone.com. Keyword is LV for Las Venturas. Now, remember to lock your scores. All right, Daniel, so what do you think about that run? You know, Angel, that was actually a good run right there. He did good. Um, unfortunately, it ended up early again, but he still had almost 50 seconds left, half a minute, almost at a whole minute there. But he did a great job, Angel. Yeah, he did a really great job because even though, at least he did a little bit better because, you know, his girlfriend Jessica earlier today, she didn't do well as she wanted to do. Not even his older sister, um, Summer, not even the way what she wanted to because they both went, you know, both their freestyles ended shortly compared to Morty. He landed a little longer and stuff. But still, we'll see how it goes, but we don't know if it's going to be enough to stop Sparkle Smash. Anyway, score to be right now, 9.5 for Sparkle Smash. Daniel, what's the score? The score, the score for him is going to be a 6.8. It will not be enough to take the lead, but give it up for him one more time. Up next, it is going to be Dipper Pines in Octonator. Los Venturas fans, unfortunately the officials, we were told by the officials that they will have to shut this uh, freestyle down right now. So let's give it up one more time for Dipper Pines and Octinator. Although it did pass 89 seconds, but it doesn't count yet because he still did not continue after 90 seconds, which means there will be no score for Dipper Pines and Octinator. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, he did a really good run, Angel. Um, unfortunately, again, another run that was cut off short. This track is killing a lot of players, Angel. I mean, a lot of drivers in their trucks. It's doing a really good, it's doing a hard job for these guys for uh, to conquer it, but we'll see how the, the rest of the competitors go on. Oh yeah, and also fans, don't forget, 9.5 is still taking the lead with Mabel Pines and Sparkle Smash. So yeah, give it up one more time for Dipper and Octonator. Coming up next is Rigby in Son of a Digger. Unfortunately, it looks like we have another ending run that early. Let's keep it going for Rigby and Son of a Digger. Now, get on your scores right now at fanjudgeszone.com. Don't forget the keyword. I mean, sorry, don't get on to fanjudgeszone.com. My bad. Please do not go. There will be no score for Son of a Digger. No score. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know what, Angel? He did, a, he did the best he can. And unfortunately, once again, the track eats up another victim. He went too hard onto that turn. And the truck just dug in and he flipped over just like that, Angel. Yep, and now still taking the lead with 9.5 of Mabel Pines and Sparkle Smash. But still, let's get it one more time for Rigby, son of a digger, even though his run didn't last that long compared to Mordecai's. All right, Monster Jam fans, introducing next, Burt Fletcher in Megalodon. Monster Jam fans, let's keep it going. For Megalodon is Fur Fletcher. Although there will be no score for Fur Fletcher, so do not head on to fanjudgeszone.com 
Unfortunately, he did not pass 90 seconds on the clock, which means he did not pass his 30 seconds. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, it was an all right run. Did the best he can. Had some cool saves. And then the truck just whipped them around, and he flipped over once again, just like everyone else. Um, I'm not sure if he passed 30 seconds or not, but we'll see if he's eligible for scoring, Joe. No, he didn't, Daniel. It was 92 seconds, so unfortunately, that will be no score. But sadly, even though um, Sparkle Smash still takes the lead with the score of 9.5, Daniel, what do you think, Daniel? You know, man, that was a good time. That was a good run he had, did the best he can, and then he just flipped it over, Angel. All right, coming up next is another Grave Digger, Sonic the Hedgehog in Grave Digger, but this is going to be the third Grave Digger. Let's see what he's going to do tonight. Monster Jam fans, let's keep it going for Sonic the Hedgehog and Grave Digger. Now, don't forget this time, yes, head on to fanjudgeszone.com. The keyword is LV for uh, Las Venturas and lock in your scores right now at fanjudgeszone.com. This time, he finally passed his 30 seconds on the clock, but I don't know if it's going to be enough for 9.5 for Sparkle Smash. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, had a pretty good run, Andrew. Had some nice air, cool cross thread, his nice saves. He had it all, but unfortunately, it was still a quick run and he flipped it over. And that was the end of the run right there, Angel, for him. Yeah, that was the end of the run. But still, we're going to go see what's happening right now because, you know, the judges are making a decision right there here in the beautiful Los Santos, which is also a parody of Las Vegas. But anyways, all right, 9.5 the score to be for Sparkle Smash. Daniel, what's the score? The score for Gravedigger is going to be a 7.4. Not enough to take the lead, but give it up for Sonic one more time. All right, Monster Jam fans, coming up next, Nick Weil in Blue Thunder. Monster Jeff fans, let's keep it going for Nick Weil and Blue Thunder. Now, there will be no score for Blue Thunder because of his, um, his run didn't last that long. And that was the end of the run for Blue Thunder. All right, Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, he did a good job. Um, unfortunately, again, another short run. And Angel, man, this track is eating up these trucks. Yeah, it's not like the trucks. They're trying to, like, it's like they're trying to keep themselves from stop flipping themselves over. I don't know. Either the trucks are flipping itself over or the track is really, de de uh, you know, destroying them really badly, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean, but this track is pretty tough, Angel, for these guys. Oh, yeah. All right, so it looks like right now Sparkle Smash still takes the lead right now. So give it up one more time for Blue, um, Nick Wild and Blue Thunder. All right, Monster Jet fans, coming in next, Daffy Duck and Stone Crusher.
All right, fans, let's keep it going for Daffy Duck and Stone Crusher. There will be no score for Daffy Duck. Unfortunately, he did not fill up for 30 seconds on the clock. That was the end of the run. Well, at least he tries best, but not the way he wants. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know, man, he did the best he can. Unfortunately, that crash did mess him up. Maybe some damage onto the truck, and that's why they, they wouldn't let him refire. But he overall, they drew a pretty okay run from what we've seen tonight. It's an, it's an all right run. Yeah, it was all right run, even though um, not the way what Daffy wanted to do, but still, score to, still to beat right now is 9.5 for Sparkle Smash. Let's see if Mabel can handle it. Do you think that she could have the chance, Daniel? We'll have to wait and see, Angel, and see what Mabel, can, Mabel Pines can do. All righty, then. Up next, it is going to be Stewie Griffin and Monster Mud Junkyard Dog. Monster Jam fans, let's keep it going for Stewie Griffin and Junkyard Dog. Unfortunately, there will be no score again, even though he only did that one hit jump and that's it. There will be no score. That's all how it is. So, yeah. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know what, Angel? Unfortunately, things just keep happening like that. And that's the end of the run, Angel, right there for, for him. He took a big risk and he just flipped it over just like that, Angel. But give it up for him one more time, everybody. Oh, yeah. Introducing next, Timmy Turner in the Monster Jam Stump Truck. Well, another back-to-back, -back, which happened first to Stewie, now happened to Timmy. There will be no scores right now for Monster Jam Stunt Truck, so do not head out to FanJerseyZone.com. Daniel, what do you think about that run? Sadly, Angel, it was just only one hit, did the best he can, and then lost control right when he landed on the other side of the jumps. And also, don't forget, everybody, we're having the kickoff show coming soon. You guys can't wait because we're very excited to have the, you know, the kickoff show coming soon. All right, then, it is what it is, but not the way what he wants to, but let's give it up one more time. All right, Monster Jam fans, cover your next Judy Hops in Monster Mud Dalmatian.
Ryan Monster, Jan Nickel, and Disney Carter fans. Let's give it up one more time for Judy Hobbs, Monster Hunt Dalmatian, a former Zootopia Police Department, all the way from the city of Zootopia. And I bet all of the old folks back home are gay are going crazy for Judy Hobbs. Now this time, lock your scores right now at fanjudgeszone.com. Don't forget the keyword is LV, stands for Las Venturas, to lock your scores. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know what, Angel? That was a fantastic run. Finally, someone else that filled the clock, but we don't know if it'll be enough to take over Mabel Pines, but she did a really great job, Angel. Had some good air, very consistent, had some cool saves, and a good job overall. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. That's Judy Hobbs, everybody. And she did everything what she got to do, but, you know, that was a really impressive freestyle, Daniel. It's about time, you know? Yeah, it is about time, but, hey, at least we got a good freestyle. Yep. Okay, so anyway, score to beat right now is 9.5 for Sparkle Smash. Daniel, what's the score? The score for Judy Hops and uh, Monster Mutt Dalmatian is going to be a 9.0, which will not be enough to take the lead of a 9.5. So therefore, still in the lead is Mabel Pines and Sparkle Coming up next, it is going to be Pacifica Northwest and Monster Mutt. Monster Jam fans, it looks like we're also told by the officials they will shut her down. Not the way what she wanted to do, but there will no there will be no score for Pacifica Northwest and Monster Mutt, unfortunately. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know what, Angel? Sadly, she flipped over early again. Another one that took probably chassis damage or something to the truck that was, she wasn't able to refire. But she did the best she can, and that was the end of the run, Angel, for her. Oh yeah, that was a really sad story for Pacifica Northwest and Monster Mutt. And then I bet she's very disappointed right there. Not the way what she wanted to, but still, still taking the lead right now. Sparkle Smash of Mabel Pines, but still, it is what it is. And also, fans, don't forget, I believe we got the last two Monster Jam Monster Trucks are coming up right now. All right, Monster Jam fans, coming in next, one of our last Grave Diggers, Mavis Dracula Grave Digger. Let's see if she can try to go for a freestyle win. Here she comes.
Monster Jam, Nickel, and Disney cartoon fans, give it up one more time for Mavis Dracula and Gravedigger. Don't forget to lock in your scores right now at FanJudgesZone.com. The keyword is LV for Los Venturas to lock your scores. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know what, Angel? That was a great run right there that she had. Unfortunately, she still had some time left on the clock, so that might hurt her score. But she did have a great run, Angel. She had some cool sidewalls at the end as well. Oh, yeah, she really did. She was trying to keep the truck safe, but not the way she didn't want to flip it over. And I believe Mavis Dracula is really upset right now. She's very pissed off about it. But it is what it is. You know what? My favorite part is she did that sideways and all that stuff, Daniel. Anyway, so the score to beat right now is 9.5 for Sparkle Smash. Daniel, what's the score? The score for Mavis Dracula and Gravedigger is going to be an 8.8. .8. It will not be enough to take the lead. So give it up for her one more time. All right, Monster Jam fans, our very last of the 36 Monster Truck competitors is Mavis' husband, Jonathan Lockran, in Max D. Let's see if he can go double down with all these 36 Monster Truck competitors. Let's see what he's going to do, fans. Time's up, and it looks like Jonathan Lockrat's gonna park his vehicle right now. He's hoping to go for a double down win. If this could be, we don't know if this is might be now. I don't know if it's gonna be enough to stop Sparkle Smash, but it could be a miracle happen. Jonathan is trying to go for a double down. That's how hungry he was. So let's give it up one more time. Now lock your scores right now at FanJudgesZone.com. Don't forget it's LB. That stands for Los Venturas. So lock your scores right now. Daniel, what do you think about that run? You know what, Angel? It was an all right run. Um, he did the best he can. Um, uh, I think he lacked a lot of momentum in that run. He did a really good job. Um, I think he was missing some spots, maybe some wow factors, but it, it was a good run still overall. Yeah, it still is. Well, we don't know if it's going to be enough, but still, he's trying to, like, you know, just to impress all the fans out there, he's trying to look for a win. That's what he wanted to. But not a single scratch on the body. I'm really surprised, Daniel. You know, yeah, he, t he did play it safe a bit, but um, he did do a great job, Angel. All right, all right. Now it's time, Daniel, for the score. So nine point five for Sparkle Smash. Daniel, what's the score? The score for Jonathan Lockren and Max D is going to be an eight point two. It will not be enough to take the lead. So therefore, your winner is Mabel Pines in Sparkle Smash. All right, Monster Jam fans, congratulations to Mabel Pines in Sparkle Smash for winning the freestyle competition. Daniel, what do you think about her? You know, man, she did a great. She did a great job. Had a good momentum. Good run. Nice saves, hit the backflip. She did a great job, Angel. Overall, probably the best run of the night because most of these guys, they ended up being really short. So 
It is what it is, but she did a really great job, Angel. Yeah, so I've heard, don't forget, Margo and Doomsday as well. But still, it is what it is. Mabel Pine's got the win. She survived all 36 Monster Truck competitors on freestyle. Let's give it up one more time for Sparkle Smash. All right, Monster Jam, Nickel, and Dizzy Cartier fans, congratulations to Mabel Pines in Sparkle Smash for winning of this competition. Me and Daniel, we had a great time. Daniel, you had a great time, didn't you, huh? You know, man, I had a fantastic time. It sucks that all these trucks were runs were short. That truck just ate everyone up, but they still put on the best effort they can. Some nice saves, nice backflips, good momentum, good air. We had it all here, Angel. And it wasn't for these drivers, we wouldn't have had this, Angel. Oh, yeah, it wasn't meant for Dad. For more information, everyone, if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to Monster Jam NDAC. And if you're watching my regular channel, you guys should subscribe to that right now. And also, don't forget, everyone, this coming up weekend, we're going to have the kickoff show of the tour. I can't wait. My brother Daniel is excited. We're all so excited. Now, everyone, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good night. Daniel, you kick it loud, buddy. He's on you. Well, thank you guys for one more time. And remember, this is Monster Jam.